Hello guys, as y'all know, I am too cheap to actually get an Impossible Whopper because I'm just not spending six, seven dollars for a burger. But thanks to T-Mobile Tuesday, I will now be eating it for free. Now I'm a person who I love meat. I don't like vegan, I'm anti-vegan. They ain't put no cheese on this, oh my God. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try to eat this even though I forgot to tell them to put some cheese on it, okay? We are gonna see, first of all, and it's cold. I don't know about this burger kind. We're gonna see exactly what the hype is with this Impossible Whopper. Hmm. Hmm, I feel like I'm eating a thin burger. I definitely can taste the charcoalness. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm not really like a charcoal-y fan. This is, I don't know, this is pissing me off. I love Whoppers. I don't know how I feel about this right now. Um, yeah, um, it's impossible Whopper. I'm gonna have to try it again. I need it to be fresher and maybe I need it with cheese because this isn't doing it for me right now. And I really love Whoppers. So I don't want to judge off of this one. I don't want to judge. Uh, hmm. It just tastes like a thin, a thinner burger. Um, oh, you know what? I know what they're doing. I know exactly what they're doing, right? They're giving it that charcoal taste, so you think, oh, I'm going the wrong way. They give it that charcoal taste, so you think that you're eating the burger. Not not low. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely try this again, but I gotta do it with uh, some cheese next time. I'm gonna go to a nice little white neighborhood. Because when you're in the Bronx, in the hood, they burger don't care about your being impossible tasting. It just tastes rubbery tasting. So, wait till I get me a good Burger King and I get some cheese. So, this video is to be continued, alright? <laughs> 